Hello, what's up you two photographer Ronix Sweat and I try in this tutorial. I'm going to be showing you high-end skin retouching in about 10 minutes. So you are going to understand the concept of frequency separation in just 10 minutes. So I'm just requesting for just 10 minutes of your time and you'll understand skin retouching from the very start to the very end. So without further ado, let's get started with this for tutorial. So basically frequency passion is a retouching technique that is going to divide the image into the high frequency layer and the low frequency layer. In the high frequency layer usually we have the textures and in the low frequency layer we have the colors or skin tone. So we just going to come to the background layer, select it and press Ctrl J twice to create those two layers and I'm going to name this into low frequency and I'm going to name this into high frequency. So in the low frequency layer we are going to select it and hide the high frequency layer. Select the low frequency layer and simply come to filter, blur, and come to Gaussian blur. So we only want to remain with the colors within the low frequency layer. So take the radius all the way down and you look for an area within the skin that has more or prominent skin texture than the rest of the image. So just going to zoom around this area. I think it has more skin texture. Then start moving the radius up just like that. Up to a point when you just starting to lose out on the textures or the details within the, within the skin. So at round seven, that is when I'm going to stop taking this slider up. So this differs from one image to another. So the settings or the radius I've used on this image may be different because your images may be having a different level of sharpness in them. So I'm just going to come and click on OK. Then I'm going to come and select the high frequency line now activate it. Then come to image and come to apply image. So when I come to apply image, you have to take note of this number right here. So if I told you have eight, make sure you select the low frequency layer because we are subtracting the textures from this layer this time around. So if I told you have eight, the blend mode has to be subtract or pass at hundred percent to without transparency and mask cannot check. The scale is two and offset 128. Make sure you don't turn on the invert option and you'll have the textures on this gray kind of layer. Then if I told you have a 16-bit image, if I told you have 16 right here, make sure you use a blend mode of add or pass at 100%, freeze transparency and mask cannot check. The scale is 2 and offset 3 and make sure you turn on the invert option and simply click on OK. So when you're done doing that, come and change the blend mode from normal and change it to linear light and you get back the image where it was meant to be. So I'm just going to select both layers and putting them in a group by pressing Ctrl or Command G on the keyboard by putting those in a group and we are going to double click rename it to frequency passion so with this we just want first of all blend the skin tone or the transitions within the skin color so that they can be smooth and even so you're basically going to select the low frequency layer and simply come under the brushes right here right click and get what we know as the mixer brush tool so we want to set up the brush so that it can blend the transitions quite well within the transitions of the skin tones so we want to set up the brush to blend or paint the skin to look a little bit more even so come and make sure the hardness is zero percent and make sure the settings right here it is a clean brush make sure you select the option which says clean the brush after each and every stroke meaning it is the second option right here the weight we are going to be using a weight of nine the load of 75 the mix at 90 and the flow of 100 percent make sure sample all is not checked because when you check this option and you paint using the brush, it means that it's going to also paint textures in our low frequency layer. You can see that annoying texture that it has created. So just going to undo that by pressing Ctrl Z on the keyboard. And I'm going to come and I turn off the high frequency layer so that I can see the colors quite well. So if I told you mixer brush tool is showing a plus icon like this, make sure you press the caps lock key and that is going to display the mixer brush tool in its right form and if at all you want to use or increase or reduce on the size of the mixer brush tool you can use the open and close brackets on the keyboard and those are going to play around with different sizes so as we are mixing the skin tones we want to use different sizes depending on the area that we are working on and as we are working on the image make sure that you work on it at a distance so just going to paint colors that are looking alike so that we can have or harmonize them and create that nice and beautiful transition but as you're working always make sure to turn off sample all layers right here 
So make sure you turn off the sample alias because we are only working on the low frequency layer. So make sure this is turned off and simply come and mix the transition. So you have to paint colors that are looking alike within the skin. And the more plastic the image is getting, the better the results at the end of your retouching process. So you shouldn't mind because we have turned off the textures. And right now we are just dealing with the colors in the low frequency layer. So I'm just going to come and do a very nice and quick job. So mix colors that are looking alike and don't zoom into your image. And you don't have or you have to use different sizes of your mixer brush tool and that is going to help you to blend the colors within the skin quite well so reduce on the size depending on how small the area you're trying to work on is so just come and mix on this area right there using the mixer brush tool and you can come right here and also blend to try and smoothen out that line that was in that area and you can see that the mixer brush tool really does a very nice and wonderful job trying to mix the transitions within the skin area in this case we're just going to do this and when we are done using the mixer brush tool we're just going to be incorporating another technique that is using the lasso tool to fine tune the areas we may have missed out as we were using the mixer brush tool to work or to mix the transitions within the image so that is going to be helping us to perfect those areas even more so you can turn on the texture layer and you can see before and after for just using the mr brush tool. so if at all you're okay with the results you can stop right here but if at all you want to fine tune the image you can come and with the low frequency layer selected come and simply get the, the lasso tool and make sure new selection mode is active and the feathering is 22 pixels because you want the edges of the selection to be as smooth as possible so make sure and alias is checked and with this you can now zoom into the image because we want to make precise selections on the skin come and make a selection on the skin but we always have to follow the way the shape of an area is moving or the way a given area is shaped that is how we have to make the selections come to filter and come to blind come down to gush and blur so with this you can come to the radius and simply this is the radius we initially had before so you can see that we have seven so just start taking it up up to the point when you feel like you have a more natural skin texture for your image so around 21 that is fine and i want to share a hack with you so if at all you don't want to go through all the guesswork just multiply the radius you use for your frequency se separation by th three so multiply that radius that you initially had multiply it by 3 so 7 by 3 is 21 i'm just going to type in 2 1 and that is fine and i'm just going to put that so in order to deselect click away from the selection and you can come right click and come gush and blend if at all if the effect is too much right click on the selection and come to fade gush and blur and you can reduce on the effect on that area so i'm just going to leave everything at 100 percent and come and work on more areas on the skin so basically this is trying to fine-tune the areas we may have missed out as we're using our mixer brush to blend even out the transitions within the skin area so this is going to make the image look better and more perfect so this is fine and we are now almost done using uh, the lasso tool to refine the image so we are now done doing the skin retouching so if at all you have blemishes within the skin you can select the high frequency line and get your spot healing brush tool or even clone stamp tool and how to remove blemishes you can simply with this layer selected measure the settings i prefer hardness of around zero percent for the clone stamp tool opacity and the flat hundred percent make sure the sample is on current layer because textures are part of the high frequency and how to remove a blemish simply hold down the alternate or option key on the keyboard and left click on an area close to the blemish and simply release the alternate or option and simply left click over the blemish so you have to make sure the clone stamp tool is slightly bigger than the blemish you're trying to eliminate within uh, your image so basically that is how to remove blemishes when you're doing skin retouching so we are now done doing skin retouching and let me show you a quick before and after for the skin retouching so this is the before after before after for our skin retouching so basically this is how to do high-end skin retouching in photoshop in 
about 10 minutes and I hope I'm still within the 10 minutes frame. So if at all you want to export the image, simply come right here to file and come to export and come to export as. So this is for people that always have issues with images changing color when you save them after retouching in Photoshop. So make sure the format is JPEG, quite 100%. Make sure the sample is by cubic sharper because we want Photoshop to slightly sharpen the image for us after saving it and come to the color space and also convert sRGB and also embed color profile and the image is going to load right here and when it is done loading simply come and click on the export option and you save it to the location where you want to save so this is it for this tutorial and if at all you have learned something new make, make the point that you the like button on this video so that youtube can push and recommend this video to many people out there Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more amazing shows. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.